As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting an ethereal glow upon the untamed wilderness of the New World, a group of intrepid English settlers stepped ashore on the desolate island of Roanoke in 1587. Led by the charismatic explorer John White, they were the first to establish a permanent English settlement in North America. With dreams of triumph and prosperity, they embarked on an adventure that would soon turn into a perplexing enigma. The Roanoke Colony was envisioned as a stepping stone for the expansion of England's influence in the New World. Arriving on the shores of present-day North Carolina, the settlers faced numerous challenges in their quest for survival. The inhospitable land, scarcity of resources, and encounters with the indigenous Native American tribes tested their resilience and determination. However, the settlers persevered, hoping to build a prosperous future for themselves and their homeland. John White, a man of vision and leadership, was entrusted with the responsibility of overseeing the colony's affairs. His artistic abilities granted him a keen eye for capturing the essence of the New World in exquisite watercolor paintings. These artworks would later become invaluable in documenting the early encounters between the English settlers and the indigenous inhabitants. Despite their struggles, the colony began to flourish, and a sense of hope filled the air. However, the winds of fate soon took an ominous turn. In 1588, England found itself locked in a bitter conflict with Spain. As tensions escalated, John White, reluctantly leaving his family behind, set sail for his homeland to secure much-needed reinforcements and supplies. Little did he know that his departure would mark the beginning of an inexplicable vanishing act that would puzzle generations to come. Arriving in England, John White's return to Roanoke was delayed due to the outbreak of war with Spain. Three long years passed before he could set sail for the New World once again. When he finally arrived, White was struck by an eerie emptiness. The once familiar settlement had been reduced to ruins, swallowed by an impenetrable silence. The only clue left behind was the word Croatoan carved into a wooden post and CRO etched into a tree. The significance of these cryptic messages remains a subject of intense speculation. Were they meant to guide White to the settler's new location, or were they an ominous warning of their fate? The truth remains elusive, buried beneath the sands of time. Despite numerous attempts to locate the missing colonists, they were never found, and their ultimate fate became one of America's most enduring mysteries. Countless theories have emerged over the centuries, each attempting to pierce the veil of uncertainty that shrouds the lost colony of Roanoke. Some speculate that the settlers assimilated with neighboring Native American tribes and became absorbed into their cultures. Others propose that they fell victim to disease, famine, or conflicts with hostile indigenous populations. There are even whispers of a potential massacre perpetuated by unknown assailants. In recent times, excavations and archaeological discoveries have brought new insights to light. Fragments of Elizabethan pottery, metal objects, and other artifacts have been unearthed in the vicinity of Roanoke, hinting at the presence of the lost colonists. The tantalizing puzzle of their disappearance continues to captivate explorers, historians, and amateur sleuths alike, igniting the flames of curiosity and driving the search for answers. The lost colony of Roanoke stands as a whisper from the past, an unsolved mystery that defies easy explanation. Each attempt to unravel its secrets only deepens the intrigue, leaving us yearning for answers that may forever elude us. Yet the story of Roanoke serves as a poignant reminder of the human spirit's boundless courage and the indomitable will to explore uncharted territories, even in the face of uncertainty and vanishing hopes.